Welcome back to Josiah Plays the Book of Unwritten Tales. Looking around outside of MacGuffin's house here, now playing as the, the elf Ivo. And let's take a look at this well rope. The well rope is fastened to the windlass. It doesn't look particularly strong. Can I take it? The well rope. The well rope. No, maybe not. Uh, okay. What about... Do I want some water? I should wind up the rope first. And how exactly... Oh, crank handle, huh? Hmm. That was suspiciously easy. <laughs> suspiciously easy. The rope is broken and the bucket's probably at the bottom of the well where it's of no use to anyone. Uh-oh. What if I use the watering can? That should hold. Let's give it a whirl. There we go. Maybe we'll get some water here. It worked. This Yay. means that I have a gremlin watering can full of water. Fantastic. There's fresh well water in the watering can. So I have flint, some firewood, a watering can. Ah, maybe I can heat the water up over the fire kind of deal. Let's see, what else is around? I, there's a big stone head face over there, but I guess I can't really look at that. And look at the wooden construction in front of the window. Strange. Someone's fitted a wooden shutter in front of the little window. Looks like the shutter can be opened. It's pretty high up. Strange. Looks like the... Looks like okay, the Okay, well, I don't have a way to do that yet, I don't think. Anything else around, other than going inside? I don't think so. Oh, maybe... Better not. I haven't got any... Alright, well, let's go inside. We are in the gremlin's house. Cool looking place. And there's that. Oh, a box on the wall. What's that? A box with some kind of glass eye. Seems to be hanging directly in front of the gable window. I haven't got a clue what it's for. What's that? I haven't got a... Got some... Look at the chaos. <laughs> Typical bachelor. Everything in a mess. Plates, pots, cups, covered with a sticky mixture of dust and fat. Dead flies. Oh, yuck. Ew. Yeah, that's gross. I'm definitely not tidying up here. Why hasn't the gremlin's companion sorted this out? Who is the gremlin's companion? Wooden tub. A wooden tub, about half full of water. Oh, great. This has the professor's washing floating around in it. White shirts, grey socks, red underpants. <laughs> a wooden tub, about half... Oh, gr Okay. Here's a small silver shield. A small, old-fashioned shield. The inside is highly polished. Can I take that? Indeed I can. A small old-fashioned shield. The inside is highly polished. What else do we have here? The stove. The back of the fireplace. When MacGuffin wanted to heat his food up, he just needed to put it into one of those little stoves. Nice. Small wooden vessel looks the like carpenter's the... carpenter's cup. It <laughs> looks old. Looks like the Holy Grail from uh, the third Indiana Jones movie. Not really worth a closer look. <laughs> frame on the wall. Hmm. Would appear to be a mirror frame. There are still a few broken shards of the old mirror around the edges. The mirror's turned so it reflects the fireplace. Strange. Yeah, I'm getting a feeling 
we're going to have to be doing some reflecting with the eye, and, and there's going to be something here that's reminiscent of, like, Raiders of the Lost Ark with the, you know, this is kind of, there's a lot of Indiana Jones sort of reference stuff going on here with this, uh, this area. So... Hmm. Would appear to be a mirror frame. There are still a few broken shards of the old mirror around the edges. The mirror's turned so it reflects the fireplace. Strange. Right. So let's try to put this in there. Since it's reflective. Not quite as good as a real mirror, but I can see my reflection. Awesome. Looking good, as usual. <laughs> Yeah, Ivo's happy with herself. That's good. I can only see myself in a portion of the room in the improvised mirror. Okay. Stone pillar we have here. Looks like the base for a statue. It's made out of stone and it's covered with strange characters. Really? There's a six-sided indentation on the base. Perhaps the mounting for a statue. Oh, need to find a statue to mount there, huh? There's a six-sided indentation on the base. Look at the wooden box with the stone chest. A stone casket placed in a wooden box. The box looks very cheap. It could be one of those storage containers. Look, it's it looks like the Ark of the Covenant. It's got the, you know. Oh, and it, and it's in a it's the in a stone like chest a crate. It's decorated with two angels and has writing on it too. I can't read it. Yeah, so uh, yet another uh open it. I wonder if it'll melt my face off like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. What's likely to happen, eh? Sand. Hmm. Is it me? Or has it just got much warmer in here? Sand, huh? The chest is filled to the brim with fine sand. I haven't got a clue what else might be in there. I can hardly sift my way through the sand with my hand. Hmm. The chest is filled... I can hardly... I need to find something to use to search through the sand in the Ark of the Covenant that I just opened here. I like... Like the perspective, you can see like the cobwebs up here in the corner and stuff. I like the way they, the, the different scenes in the game are presented from different angles and different like, you know, camera widths and, and so some of them are far out, some of them are in close and down low with the character, some of them are up above, you know, so nice visual variety to the scenes you're exploring. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, jelly glowfish. A standard jelly glow. F Oops, hold on. Jelly glowfish are really quite frugal animals. They need water and a little bit of food every now and then. I guess this one lacked the latter. Didn't actually mean to skip past that first description, but I guess there's nothing I can do with that jelly glowfish at the moment. A tool bag with tools. Excellent. I think these are all the things that the professor uses on his digs. A brush, a little shovel, a sieve. Well, that's a no-brainer. We'll take that to search through the sand with. I'll take the sieve. The rest looks pretty useless. A rather coarse metal sieve with wooden handles on each side. Presumably the professor used it for sifting through earth for treasure. Let's try using that in the sand. There is something in there. A little brass key. Ooh, a key. Excellent. A little brass key. Could belong to a drawer or some small box or something of that sort. Hmm. All right. Uh, look at the stone head. A strange stone head. It's been roughly hewn but has a few fine embellishments. Perhaps a memento from one of the professor's expeditions. Oh, a wooden box. I wonder if that's what I'll use the key on. A pile of documents, a book, a 
dragon skull. A dragon skull. It could have been a horn tail, nasty creatures, but there are very few around these days. The last of them are now working almost exclusively as beasts of burden. They've not just lost their viciousness, they've lost their pride too. Ah, uh, what a shame to see such a fate befall the noble dragons. I can still remember a time when dragons were powerful. That was centuries ago, before they were subjugated to a stranger's will by the power of magic. Hmm. Once they were brought under control, they were used by the hundred on battlefields. From that, very few of them survived. Sucks to be dragons. I guess. Books. Books, books, and more books. Most are ancient tomes. They appear to be written in just about every language. I like Ivo's accent. The book that MacGuffin told me about is hidden in the cellar. These books aren't of interest. What about this rug? I can't move this rug. So these books aren't of interest. What about this book? A large handwritten book. It looks like it's been used a lot. It's the Gremlin's Diary. Perhaps I'll find some hints about the cellar. Let's take a closer look. Who would have ever thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to stop this madness? Ah, uh, he. This is what he and was I writing. I did find the key to it on one of my expeditions, not in dark dungeons or in fiery mountains. Oh no, I discovered the answer in an old book. He must mean the book that was hidden in the cellar, in which the information about the artifact's whereabouts is written. Hmm. The notes end mid-sentence. I wonder why I haven't heard anything from Archmage Alistair yet. I sent Beetle out with a message for him yesterday morning. I hope nothing has... That was the last entry. There are others before it. Nice. That's exactly what we saw in the opening cutscene of the game, as he was writing just that, and then he got interrupted as they came to get him. What's this at the beginning of this page? Today I have been examining the books that I bought back from the Grindle Mountains. Amongst them was a book about herbs and tinctures. An old herbalist was adamant that I would find a recipe to cure my cold feet in it. What a disappointment, though. Just superstitious nonsense about frog eyes and wool socks. Huh. I was just about to burn the book when I noticed that the volume contained other things. A disturbing tale of a tragic relationship between a magician and his <laughs> pet sheep, Boris, as well as a travel log written by a fairy explorer. The travel log described how the explorer landed on an island in the West Seas while searching for undiscovered fairy tribes. He created several very beautiful sketches of the temple ruins that can be found on that island. Oh, really? I will use these to entertain myself and translate the runes he drew. The next entry was made two days later. It's only barely legible. The gremlin appears to have been very excited. It must be the entrance. The wrath of the gods caused the temple to sink into the ocean, of course. But not all, not all. Ye gods, my hands are still shaking <laughs> despite the fact that Beetle made me a calming herbal tea before he left. Good old Beetle, he has obviously got no clue how significant my discovery is. I have sent him to Master Alistair, the Archmage of the Humans. He is to hand him a sealed letter. Tomorrow, tomorrow Master Alistair will arrive and I can unburden myself of this terrible responsibility. I will not be able to sleep a wink. And next, there's the last entry that I read out before. There's nothing else there. Wow. So, I wonder if it was his servant Beetle that betrayed him, that let the, the, enemy, the bad guys know, or if it was Alistair the Archmage himself that betrayed him. There's nothing more there of interest to me. Pretty cool, though. All right, some more stuff to look at here. Pile of documents. Hmm, old parchment and yellowing papers, filled with texts in many different foreign languages. Adonish and Western, Quenya and Sindarin. Ha! Huh. And technical drawings in Kuzdol. Those are languages from Middle Earth, from Lord of the Rings. All right, um, we'll get back to that in the next video. That's all the time we have for this one. Thank you for watching Josiah Plays The Book of Unwritten Tales. I'll see you next time.